Hi guys! You know that with our Yeetful Cameras gift cards plugin, you can create and sell virtual and physical gift cards. And those physical gift cards can either have a pre-printed code assigned to them or no code at all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and sell physical gift cards that have a pre-printed code already assigned to them. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Just like we said in a previous video, a physical gift card is a gift card that is presented to the customer in a physical form. The customer can buy it in a physical store and take it home with him, keep it for himself or give it as a gift to a loved one, or it can be ordered online and then physically delivered. There are two scenarios where we can sell physical gift cards. Scenario one is where we have physical gift cards with pre-printed codes and we want to sell them online so we would need to make sure that the codes are not automatically generated by the plugin. And scenario two is where we want to sell physical gift cards that do not have a code. They might have a blank space to fill in the code like this second example. So there you need to have the code automatically generated. As you might have guessed, we're going to create the physical gift cards for the first scenario. So first of all, we need to go over to Yid, gift cards, general and we need to enable this option disable code generation in physical gift cards this way anytime a physical gift card is bought by a customer no code will be generated by the plugin but we are going to be able to manually assign a code to that gift card i'm going to save options and now we're going to create that physical gift card as the gift card is a type of product, we're going to go over to products, add new. I'm naming this product physical gift card. We're going to scroll down to product data and we're going to select the gift card product type. We are not going to check this because it is a physical gift card, not a virtual gift card that we're creating. We're going to add amounts here so the customer can choose the gift card value. And I'm going to leave this one empty so the customer can just add a custom amount if he wants to. We have other options here. We have an option to override custom amount settings. We have an option to add a discount to the gift card and an option to override global expiration settings. We are not going to enable any of these options now. Next, I'm going to scroll down and add a short description and an image. There, now we're going to select the gift cards category and I'm going to publish. Now let's see that product. Okay, so here we have the product image, the title, physical gift card, the short description, and here we have the amounts that the customer can choose from. Keep in mind that for physical gift cards, you can also add fields to ask for the sender and the recipient's names and another field for the customer to enter a custom message so they can customize the gift card that they're going to send. We can enable those options on the dashboard by going over to Yeet, gift cards, recipient and delivery, and scrolling down to the recipient and delivery settings for physical gift cards delivered at home section. So here we can enable the option to allow customers to add a printed message to the gift card and the option to ask for the sender and recipient's name. Save options. Let's go back to the site and I'm going to refresh. And there we have the new fields. They are not mandatory, they're of course optional. Let's enter a custom amount here and I'm going to add my name, the recipient's name, a message. I'm going to add to cart card. Keep in mind, as always, that customers can use the gift card codes they have by clicking here and adding it here or in the WooCommerce coupon section in case you have that option enabled. I'm going to proceed to checkout, place order, and now let's go back to the dashboard and let's go see that order. So right now the order is on hold. I'm going to change it to completed and this is where I can enter my pre-printed code. 
keep in mind that you can only add your pre-printed code once the status of the order is completed, okay? Not before. Let's just go back to orders for a minute. And we're going to be able to recognize that it is a pre-printed gift card that was bought and that it needs a code because we're going to see this bell, okay? This is letting us know that the gift card does not have a code assigned. We're going to go back to the order. So here is the field to enter the pre-printed code. Here you have all the information, the recipient's name, sender, message. So let's say I have a gift card with a pre-printed code on my hand. I'm going to add the pre-printed code right here there so this is the gift card that i'm going to be sending to the customer the gift card that has this pre-printed code on it i'm going to update because i have just added the pre-printed code there so now the gift card has a code assigned and the customer that bought the gift card can see the code as soon as it is assigned to the gift card the customer will only need to go over to his or her my account page orders this is the order view and here the customer will be able to see the pre-printed physical gift card code and then of course by going back to the dashboard to give gift cards dashboard i can see as an admin the order gift card with the code assigned here so this is the gift card that will be sent and that can be used in my online shop as a discount Okay, guys, that's how you can create and sell physical gift cards with pre-printed codes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.